our next incredible speaker is Rebecca Rose. She's head of innovation at Domino's. So a real treat today. So without further ado, Rebecca, the time is all yours. Thank you. Um, slight correction, head of marketing, not head of innovation. Um, but good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for dialing in. We can all relate to the sentiment of being trapped at home and the impact that that's having on our work and personal lives. Although the line on screen is clearly a joke, our brand platform of being the official food of everything has served as well. At the start of 2020, we were already on a journey to evolve this and COVID has accelerated that journey. All things considered, we've had a good year. We've been well placed as a predominantly delivery based service and overall our category has fared better than many. That being said, we have worked to the principle of doing the right thing by our customers throughout 2020. We have supported the NHS with £100,000 worth of pizza, followed up with getting £4 million worth of pizza into the hands of key workers and recently championing and rewarding local legends who have supported their communities throughout COVID whilst delivering piping hot pizza to our customers at a time when they need it the most. The stats on screen show the positive results we have seen from our actions. But inevitably, the climate has accelerated the level of and trend of change in our industry too. It's a highly competitive category that's seeing more entrants through diversification. Existing players are innovating with products and day parks and stores. Traditional restaurants are adapting and provide delivery, all widening the category, and spend continues to increase. The climate has also exacerbated the risk adversity that exists within takeaways among consumers. These pizza fueled moments of joy are now proportionally and relatively more important. They're the bits of happiness consumers look out for when other joys are taken away from us. So if a takeaway goes wrong, you or your family don't get the experience they've been looking forward to. This behavior is only heightened in a recession. Every customer pound needs to work harder to deliver. So what, so what is becoming a fragile, fragile industry built on volatility and ever-changing customer desires and needs, and one where advertising and brands matter, it was right for us to reevaluate re ourselves in the midst of the storm and set ourselves up for the future, not to admire our success and stand still. We went back to our business and our core brand to determine what it was that made us who we are today. And it consists simply of three things. The unri unrivaled customer experience we offer, our brand attributes being great tasting food with a unique taste, a highly dependable and trusted service, a social occasion that's becoming a verb. Think about let's have a Domino's is more than just pizza and our generosity for deal and abundance that always satisfy. And finally, that we are responsible for the whole journey from doorbell to doorbell, a real point of differentiation for us in this market. And when you consider those things, it's more than just a campaign. Instead, it goes right back to the core of who we are and our brand. In summary, it's a wholehearted rededication to our unrivaled core strengths. This is the culmination of that work, Domino's, we got this. This is our adaptation to our current marketplace and consumer mindset. We got this is born out of the certainty we deliver, the certainty you get with Domino's and the reliability and dependability we offer. This is really homing in on what makes Domino's different, the consistency of taste, service and experience, because we do it all ourselves. This is our point of differentiation. 
And this starts with this, one of our USPs, our ownership of the whole journey, doorbell to doorbell, the ability to deliver on the whole experience. Dominoes. We got this. And it's not just about shiny new films. We will live and breathe this in everything we do because we truly believe it. This is just the beginning of our new journey to a greater brand distinctiveness and fame. We got this. Thank you all for your time. And I think now we've got some time for some questions. We do indeed. Great presentation. Thank you. As usual, lots, lots coming in. As usual, I'll pick the best, I think. A question here from George, who says, uh, how important is local advertising to you and how has this changed during the pandemic? I think um, if you think about the kinds of advertising that we might have done um, prior to the pandemic, then that would have consisted of an element of um, out of home. Clearly, out of home really suffered during the pandemic. So we pivoted to be looking at our advertising that might have been national previously, moving to more local digital. Great. Uh, one here from Chris, who says, Domino's has always used the latest digital channels. What are your plans for CTV, given how closely aligned pizza is to the TV set? Um, well, we do CTV um, as part of our, um, our marketing mix, and we're always looking at um, new opportunities. But I think the, the changes in ways people are viewing um, ways in which people are, are viewing and continuing to be changed. So, um, in particular, catch up um, and our sponsorship of the ITV Hub and also our further sponsorship of all four have been really important and have um, really um, benefited throughout the, the pandemic. Uh, along the same sort of lines, I, I guess, from Sally, who says, what are your plans for mobile generally going forward? I, I think mobile... Um, what we want to do is ensure that mobile isn't um, just content for content's sake. We want to ensure that we can target and actually give people content that's going to be personal to them and that they that actually adds something to the experience. Fantastic. I think we're out of time, but thank you so much. Great presentation. And it made me really hungry. I could do the Domino's pizzas now. We've got no food in the studios. Thank you so much.